Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my current events page. Oregon and Florida health officials won't reveal how many are being monitored for coronavirus. If this report doesn't send a chill down your spine, I don't know it will. According to a local health affiliate out of Oregon, the Oregon Health Authority is refusing to reveal how many people in the state of Oregon are being monitored for the coronavirus. And they aren't alone because Florida officials are stating the same. According to a spokesman named Jonathan Modi, there is a lot of stigma connected to the virus right now. Modi went on to state that withholding the total number of people monitored would protect the privacy of the individuals we are monitoring. And he quoted state law, um, which stated that any information obtained by OHA or a local public health authority in the course of an investigation of a reportable disease or disease disease outbreak is confidential. The report went on to inform that Newt Bueller, a leading Republican in Oregon, now running for Congress, who is also a medical doctor, issued a statement on OHA's refusal saying, in times of serious disease outbreak where lives are at stake, government health officials must go the extra mile to share information with the public. Unfortunately, our state government does not have a culture of transparency. Now is not the time to be holding information back. It not only breeds distrust, it could cost lives. Apparently, Oregon isn't the only state withholding this information from the public, as reports also indicate that Florida state health officials are also stating that they can't disclose how many people have been tested for this virus as well. The goal of this public health response is containment, said state surgeon uh, Scott Rivkes. And if there's a confirmed case, it will absolutely be reported. Meanwhile, in Michigan, officials have confirmed the 325 people under observation for the no- novel, novel coronavirus COVID-19 and that all the patients have either been to mainland China in the last two weeks or were on a potentially contaminated cruise ship. The report went on to say that the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services consider all of these individuals to be at medium risk for the coronavirus. Okay, guys, so you got Florida and you got Oregon who do not want to disclose anything to their the public. Um, to me, that just brings more fear, but I don't, I don't understand this. Every day it just gets more wonky. Have a great day, everybody. Don't forget to say your prayers.